Hey everybody, welcome to Crack a Pack Tuesday number 102 on the Mana League. I'm John as always, and I've got something special for you. Not really. I know last week I said it was the last Modern Masters pack, and I wasn't sure what today was going to be. Well, it's been incredibly busy with Amon Cat spoilers, so I didn't have time to do much other than just grab another pack of Modern Masters. And hey, after opening a Voice of Resurgence, followed by a Blood Moon, followed by a Tarmogoyf, the only way we can go is up. Right? Let's find out. We will, of course, talk about this as though it were a draft and what we would take. Pack one, pick one. We would not be taking a Demir Guildgate, a land gate that enters the battlefield tapped. Tap, add a blue and a black. Fine card. You need these. Watch Spiky Saturday last week to uh, discover why you desperately need fixing, but not really a first pick. You'd feel pretty bad if you first picked a Guildgate. You wouldn't feel bad if you first picked a Dinropa Horror, uh, a card that is arguably warping, if not breaking the format, uh, at least online, where very interestingly, I find leagues to be ma- Well, you guys don't need to hear me say that leagues are massively different than Paper Magic, because uh, I've been saying that forever. But Dinropa Horror, four blue black for a creature horror, four four, when it enters the battlefield, return target permanent to its owner's hand, and then that player discards a card is really super warping, especially with all of the flicker effects. Taking it away, putting it back, taking it away, putting it back. Very busted card, definitely in the running for a first pick. Up next is Sky Knight Legionnaire. Sky Knight Legionnaire is one red-white for a creature human knight. It's a 2-2, it's got flying, it's got haste. That's about it. It's great if you're in red-white, it's nice and aggressive and evasive, but uh, a little bit far from a first pick. Now, don't take me complaining about Dinrova Horror as being me not liking this format. I think this format's great even with it. Just in leagues, I find that you play against the Dinrova Horror deck of some variation every single match. In a paper pod, physically can't happen. Up next is Druid's Deliverance. Druid's Deliverance is one in a green for an instant. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to you this turn. And populate. There are way better populates out there. Don't play Fogs. Gnawing Zombie is up next. One and a black for a creature zombie. It's a 1-3. Pay one and a black. Sack a creature. Target player loses one life and you gain one life. If you want to go deep on the sack outlets, this is uh, one of them. Obviously, you'd prefer to have the Rot Worms. Scorched Rasalka is also very good and very similar to Gnawing Zombie. Bleh, gnawing Zombie. Totally fine if you're headed towards that deck, but nowhere near a first pick. Sundering Growth, also nowhere near a first pick. Definitely not competing with the horror. Sundering Growth, uh, a Selesnia mana and a Selesnia mana. So green, green, white, white, or green and white. For an instant, destroy target artifact or enchantment, then populate, just like Fog. Don't play it just for the populate. Uh, at least the Fog you can play. This requires a target, which is going to be pretty bad. You know, if, if your opponent doesn't have a Signet, there's probably not going to be a target for it. Scourge Devil is up next. Four and a red for a creature devil. It's a 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Half of a trumpet blast. You can unearth it for two and a red, meaning you can bring it from the graveyard to the, the battlefield with haste, and then it goes away at the end of the turn, or the next time it would uh, uh, leave the battlefield. Not great. It's fine, but it, it's just really mediocre. It's very, you know, 23rd cardish in red decks. The on earth is just kind of a bonus, to be honest. Pitfall Trap, two and a white for an instant trap. If exactly one creature is attacking, you can pay a single white instead of two and a white, rather than pay Pitfall Trap's mana cost. What do you get? Well, you get to destroy target attacking creature without flying. This is okay removal. Uh, I find that flyers are one of the things you typically want to kill, because there's a lot of mist ravens out there and flicker wisps and etc. And uh, this doesn't hit it. Hits a whole bunch, though, and it's some of the removal that Bant Tokens has access to, and Bant Tokens has very little removal, so you're kind of forced to play these. But there is better uh, removal out there, and I would never really first pick a Pitfall Trap. Augur of Bolas is not going to compete with the Din Rova Horror. One and a blue for a creature, Merfolk Wizard. It's a 1-3. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal an instant or sorcery card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. It's a fine card. I like Augur. I played Augur a ton in its original set. It's great, but it's not a first pick, and it's certainly not a first pick against Din Rova Horror. Boros Guildgate is our last common. We've already talked about a Guildgate with Demir Guildgate. It's not first pickable. 
Into the uncommons, we've got ourselves a Rakdos Signet. Well, Signets I, I would first pick if the pack was weak. It's not going to compete with the horror, though. Uh, Signets are two generic mana for an artifact. Pay one generic mana, tap it, to make two mana uh, of the color suggested by the name. So in this case, black and red. Totally fine. Signets are great. A lot of people were down on them for some reason at the start, and they still kind of are, and I think that's wrong. Signets are good. Signets are real, real, real good. So uh, I'd be happy to first pick this currently if the horror wasn't there. Urbis Protector is our second last on common. We have uh, four white, white for a creature human cleric. It's a one, one. When Urbis Protector enters the battlefield, create a four, four white angel creature token with flying. This is a great flicker target as well, but it's not quite as good as Dinrova Horror. Yes, you get a four, four flyer as opposed to a four, four on the ground. But bouncing something, potentially making your opponent throwing it away, is just too good on the horror side of things. Soul Ransom is our final uncommon. We've got two blue-black for an enchantment aura. Enchant creature, you control enchanted creature. Discard two cards. Soul Ransom's controller sacrifices it, then draws two cards. Only an opponent may activate this ability. I still don't believe that Soul Ransom is a good card. People were beside themselves saying this was a bomb first pick card in this set. It wasn't good in Gate Crash because Gate Crash was disgustingly fast, but I still don't think this is good uh, uh, even in this set. It's a really bad mind control or your opponent's just going to let you draw the two cards and get their creature right back. And, you know, you're then down a card, so you're only up one card. So I'm out on Soul Ransom and definitely against a Dinner of a Horror. Well, we did not miss on rares in the uh, the four packs of Modern Masters I opened. We got ourselves a Misty. We got a Misty Rainforest. A hey, land. Tap it, pay one life, sacrifice Misty Rainforest. Go and get yourself a forest or an island. Fetches, they got some value attached to it, so realistically, we're per Depending on what the foil is, we're probably going to first pick this rainforest for money. Our foil is a foil rare, but it's a foil Alvenwald tracker. A single green mana for a creature, human shaman. It's a 1-1, one, one, pay one and a green tap. Target creature you control fights another target creature. Very good card. I really like Alvenwald tracker. If the Misty wasn't there, because we're taking the Misty Rainforest for value, assuming we're at an F&M or something like that. If it wasn't there, would I take... An Alvenwald Tracker over a Horror. I don't think I would. I think I would just take the Horror. It is just so format warping and so, 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 so good. And at common, the fact that you can get like four of these, five of these I've seen in people's decks is just utterly busted. Alvenwald Tracker, really good. But Dinrova Horror is going to be my pick if the Misty Rainforest wasn't there. So... Recapping, we got ourselves a Voice of Resurgence, a Blood Moon, a Tarmogoyf, and a Misty Rainforest in the four Modern Masters crack packs Pretty good. I'm going to retire Modern Masters champion as of now. Anyways, let me know what you think of Dinrova, Dinrova's horrors reign of terror on this format in the comments down below and what you would have first picked as well as always if you have any questions comments or suggestions you can find me on twitter at the mana leak that's l e e k like the vegetable not the card you can also find me at facebook.com slash the mana leak twitch.tv slash the mana leak and patreon.com slash the mana leak where you can become a backer and work your way towards earning one of these play mats there's three out in the world so far with uh several more going out in the next couple of months so make sure you get on that. As always, click that like button. If you like the content, click subscribe if you want to see more. And if you do have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, see you all next time.